Hello everyone. Ontario is in financial trouble. That's according to the proposed budget tabled yesterday by Finance Minister Dwight Duncan. Less than six months ago, during the provincial elections, none of the major parties made the debt or the deficit an important issue. No one but us, the Ontario Libertarian Party. The record is there for everyone to see. Ontario didn't get into trouble in just six months. This trouble has been building for decades and was greatly aggravated in recent years. The Liberals have doubled the provincial debt and deficit since coming to power in 2003. Doubled in less than nine years. Finance Minister Duncan blames the global recession and the stimulus spending that the government chose to do for creating the current problem. But the spending problem began in their first budget well before the recession. The Liberals raised taxes, pulling more money out of the pockets of families, and increased government spending. Their spending problem was aggravated by an economic slowdown and a reduction in government income. So what if your family runs up a large credit card bill during hard times? Would you continue spending lavishly or consider cutting back on some of the frills? Would you decide to take on more services or consider doing with less and paying off the debt? I'm not the only one criticizing the Liberals. Their own people have been their greatest critics. The Provincial Auditor General, in his last report, pointed to excessive spending and poor management in adding heavily subsidized wind turbines and solar panels to everyone's electricity bill and also increasing the government debt. Don Drummond, in his recent report on reforming the public service, echoed the auditor's criticism and came up with 362 recommendations to balance the budget or the deficit would balloon to $30 billion in five years. To add to the criticism, Moody's, a financial rating agency, warned Ontario that its credit rating would be in jeopardy if its lavish spending habits don't change. And what does balancing the budget actually mean? Well, to compare it to your family credit card bill again, it means making the minimum payments without paying back what is owed. And worse, the government has said it won't balance the budget for another five years. So the debts will continue to increase. So what have the McGuinty Liberals done in this budget? Well, they've decided to use the coercive powers of government to freeze the salaries of all public sector employees. The public sector will take the brunt of the cuts in salaries and pensions, but many of the items recommended by the Drummond Report were ignored. Many of the frills are still in place, and the government has chosen to increase its income by doing things like building more and larger LCBO stores and more casinos, both of which act like taxes on consumers, although they are voluntary. The budget does not address the debt at all. Servicing the massive debt is Ontario's third largest annual expense, and that assumes that interest rates will remain low. The Liberals have also cancelled a proposed cut in corporate taxes. Libertarians would not cancel the cut in corporate taxes. We believe that jurisdictions that have low corporate tax rates attract more business and industry. These will create real jobs that would ultimately improve Ontario's economy. Libertarians would choose to eliminate or amalgamate entire ministries and many agencies that provide little or no value to the province and where the free market could do a far better job. We all want Ontario to be the best place to live. I'm sure that is true of the government as well. I believe their intentions are good. However, sometimes good intentions have very bad results. This is what has happened here. 
The government has a spending problem that it does not want to admit. I have no confidence in this budget solving that problem. I believe it's time to change the government. Thanks for watching.